hi, a slight rearrangement of my easel and camera. A cup of tea. I haven't done a line and wash for, for a long time, so I'll see what I can make of, of this one. I've moved the camera so that you can actually see what I'm doing rather than be masked by my hand all the time. I'm only going to do a sort of a rural scene. Uh, it's very thin. I've mixed up some some uh, acrylic paint, but it's uh, not very thick. It's so I will just. a bit of a bank and I might mix a bit of a bit more bit of darker ink, that's just a little bit too thin. I haven't got any ink, I, I refuse to buy it now, I can use this, uh, this acrylic paint, just mix it up a little bit. Just to make it a little, just a little bit thicker. Very messy business. That's, that's, that's a, got a bit of a uh, tissue in there just to Keep things a bit clean. Okay. Right, back we go. Now let's see what happens now. This is sort of a a river bank. I'm just doodling this really, I'm not uh, copying a photograph or anything, I'm just, my, my, my imagination is not particularly good, you might think otherwise, but I have done a lot of it and, and I like to paint from my imagination if I can, but uh, I, uh, I, it's probably why I don't do a lot of houses because I'm not really into detail, into draftsmanship. I, I try to create mood and atmosphere as a sort of substitute for not having the patience to, to draw or to draw more elegantly than I do. I used to be a draftsman, believe it or not. It sort of reads. Near River Wandle. Alright, okay, let's look at that.
just a sort of stunted sort of tree. I think a bit of a problem with painting up like that is that the ink or the paint is, isn't flowing down. I'm going to just try and flatten this a bit. Uh, it might be a bit better with my cup of tea there. Right, let's just bring that round a little bit. It's a better angle, but... I'm going to do an abstract after this. When I put the paint on, this will... Uh, The, the paint will uh, reduce the contrast between the black and the white, which is... But these are, these are quite... quite fun to do. I don't want to make this one the same as the other one, so I'm going to just... An old winter elderberry tree, elderflower. Oh, that's bad. Just could, now I've got some, got some paint on there now. I can sort of move it. some more of that. Yeah there, there are some great artists on YouTube, Smoothie, brilliant drafts and brilliant eye and that Andrew Usher's on Facebook, my namesake, not related but got fantastic eye detail. My wife, nephew, Andrew Holden, he's on Facebook. Got this great ability to draw what they see rather than what they think they see. Or well, the patience to do it anyway. I have to f create art out of, out of impression. That's just a bit of a bit bushy. Bigger tree. It's not really behaving, is it? Right, we'll change that. Yeah, again, we'll come up here with. Well, this is uh, born out of uh, mistakes, or at least things going wrong in the night.
I'll tell you what I might do. I think I will, in fact. I think this has got so hard over the times I've used it, the ink has dried on it, that it's, it's not... Um, I'll just cut that. Cut the new... Cut the old inky stuff off. And give it a bit of a sandpaper on the, on the sand block. Rough it up a bit so that it might just make it a little bit more porous. Right, let's try that. Okay, that that do it. Let's uh, get some. Right, let's sort of just make something out of that there, that's a bit, got a bit of light. Okay, well that's that's sort of dramatic enough really. Just put a little bit of that. I'm gonna give this a dry. Right, that will do. I'll uh, dry it, but I'll give it a bit of a blot first. Then I'll dry it with a hair dryer. Just take the worst of it off. Bit more. Right, okay, that's a bit of a mess, but it'll look better when I get some colour on. Right, take your headphones off or mute your sound. Ready, go.
Okay, let's uh, <coughs> have a sweet of tea. Ah, it's got a little warm. All right, where's my pet paint? I moved my pot of ink. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Right, there's there are the colours. Uh, cadmium yellow. I see Stephen Cronin's taken to using that now. It's a, I think it's a it's a much stronger uh, yellow than the lemon yellow we have been using. Uh, raw sienna, alizarin crimson, light red, ultramarine, burnt amber, paints grey, and burnt sienna. I use a lot of burnt sienna, but I'm just going to give them a, a spray because I haven't used them since last night. Okay, that'll do. So, with the uh, with the hake, I'll wet the paper now. My, my pot of water is in a not very good place. Right, let's give it a wet. Hope it doesn't uh, take too much of the. Oh, well. That'll disappear. Right, let's get some sienna in there. Oops, got, it's a bit wet from pouring it out, squeezing it out yesterday. Well, let's just get a bit of a... Come down all the way there. Right, put a sky in. I don't really want to put too much blue in. I'll put a bit of blue in just there. Look, I'm putting that in as I go. So a bit of light red. Right, okay, so we put a bit of a red tint in the sky. Clean the brush. I've probably got a bit heavy, but the paint dries much lighter than it goes on. Let's just take to the bit off the bottom there. Now I'll re clip the paper. Give it a good tug. Okay, uh, Right, I'll, I'll give a nice bit of greeny, bit of the uh, cadmium yellow and a bit of the lovely Right, let's get a bit of warmer sienna in there Just a little bit of, bit of dark shadow. Okay, that'll do for that. Now we'll put in a bit of, bit of yellowy stuff in here. Right, a bit of blue in the background now. More blue.
just uh, putting these reflections in there just okay right what's that I might just lift out a few bits of see that the the ink or the paint the black acrylic has sort of vanished at the sort of right, a bit more of a stretch keep the paper nice and flat you don't need to stretch this this is 130 pound Fabriano. It's, it's good stuff for wetting, mate. Right? I can do a bit of heavier stuff over that. Well, oh. okay. Uh, I was going to try that, wasn't I? Well, I'll give that a try now. Headphones again. We'll mute. Now, I want a lot of uh, bushy stuff around this here, just to, to take this, the, um, the blackness out of that, uh, those trees, so a bit of Payne's Grey, Burnt Sienna, a bit of Lemon Yellow, right, that'll do. That's, uh, You just take the intensity out, so just a, some warm colour there. Bit of burnt umber, maybe. So this ivy going up. Just using the corner of the hake. Okay, now we want some uh, autumn leaves, I think. So a bit of burnt umber will do. And a bit of Bit of paint's grey. No, just using the sides of the hay, including a corner, just to I can put some some sparkle in there with some stipple. This is just an easy way of, of showing. Lots of twigs and foliage, but be careful, a little goes a long way. Just get a bit more of a hard shadow in there. Okay. Don't want to overdo this, which I'm in danger of doing. I'm just trying to reach this way. The black went a bit too black, if you know what I mean. It. Uh... Right. Okay. I'm going to try that again, and I'm going to uh, put some leaves on there. We're finished with a bit of bit of rigor work. Right, okay, now the way to do this is to break your brush up by drying it, giving it a good good dry or so finish my tea. I'm going to do an abstract after this. 
there's my second abstract expressionist painting attempt at the painting on my new channel abstracts by Dave Usher it's had a few views it's been on in a couple of days but we're not, we're not going viral okay let's just just a few last of all some leaves Okay, now a bit of rigor work, that'll do, no more than that. Right, where's my rigor? There it is. Right, we'll just put a Okay, a few uh, Right, okay, that'll do that's a nice signature. Okay, well I'll give it a title, I don't know what I'll call it. I'll put it in a mount and then we can have a look at it. I don't know how hold on. I'm going to, I'll have to move the camera to show it. Right, well there we are, I've got another, another line and wash, it's, it, it's not as good as I would have liked, but let's just bring the camera around now. Oops, now sorry about all this. YouTube will try and get me to improve it. How are they going to improve that? Take the... Uh... Oh, that, well that's alright. Uh... Thanks for watching. It's a, it's a bit, bit murky, but... Uh... But with a stick, I'm going, going to have to get some more of these and, have, uh, and, and uh, sharpen them. I have got some somewhere but uh, I haven't done it for a while so anyway see you later thanks for watching bye bye